you're pregnant. Do you know what to expect from your first prenatal appointment? Hi guys, welcome to Pregnancy, Birth, and Parenting 101, supporting and educating you one video at a time. Today we're going to talk about your very first prenatal appointment. So excited. You probably found out you were pregnant a few weeks ago and you've been looking forward to this appointment. So now let's talk about what to expect and also how to prepare. I'm Haley, I'm a labor and delivery nurse, childbirth educator, certified breastfeeding counselor, doula, and mom to two beautiful babies, Layla and Isaiah. I'll be your teacher today, so welcome to class. Your first prenatal appointment is finally here. What does it look like? It's usually around eight weeks. It's the longest one that you're gonna go to, about an hour, and it's pretty boring for the most part until you get to that amazing ultrasound. So they are gonna take a full history, a family history. They're gonna find out, are there any chromosomal abnormalities that uh, run in your family, like cleft lip, cleft palate, those are two of the most common ones. They're gonna take a medical history. Are you on any medications currently? Do you have any allergies? Did you have any childhood asthma? Do you have any medical conditions right now that you're on medication for or that you used to be? They're also gonna take a surgical history. Have you had any surgeries ever before? And wisdom teeth and tonsils being removed and appendix, those all count. So they wanna know a full history of all of that. And then they're gonna ask you about any symptoms you're currently experiencing. Are you nauseous? Are you vomiting? Are you able to keep down food and, and water? Are you exhausted? How are you feeling emotionally? Is this a planned pregnancy? Are you super excited about it? Or was this maybe an accident and you're kind of trying to wrap your head around it? They want to know where you are emotionally and look for any signs of uh, pregnancy, depression, or anxiety that could set you up for postpartum pregnancy or, or anxiety. It is treatable, so mention to your doctor if you've been feeling down or any any feelings at all that you've been having. Your provider, your doctor, your midwife, they're there to help you. Not just physically, but in every sense of the word. They're treating the whole being, not just the little bean inside of you. And let's see, what else? They're also going to draw your blood. And what they're looking for in your blood is your hemoglobin, your hematocrit, your white blood cells that might show that, hey, you have an infection, or um, you know, what blood type are you? A positive, you know, B negative, whatever. And depending on what your blood type is, you may have to have a shot called Rogam at 28 weeks. Don't worry, I'm gonna do a video on it, so stay tuned. And they're also looking and screening for things like Tay-Sachs disease, cystic fibrosis, and things like that, many more. So ask your doctor specifically, what are the, what's the blood work for? And let them educate you and talk to you about all of it. But that's kind of just more of the common things that they're looking for. They'll also take a urine test and they'll confirm your pregnancy and um, look for anything else in your urine as well, like infection, if you have like a bladder infection or UTI, anything like that. They're monitoring that all along as well. Um, they're gonna take your vital signs, so your blood pressure, your uh, temperature, they're gonna make sure everything looks good, that everything looks normal, and they're gonna do that all along the way. And another thing that they are looking for is that little bean. So they're gonna do an ultrasound. Most likely at eight weeks, they're gonna do what's called a transvaginal ultrasound. So it looks like a long wand that they put a protective cover on, and it, guess what? Yep, it goes in vaginally. And so that's the best way to view your baby and get that really great picture, and also that really amazing sound of your baby's heartbeat. Yes, your baby has a heartbeat. You get to hear it and it is beautiful. I remember with both mine hearing it and just crying tears of joy because it just confirms that yes, there is a life inside of you. And it's pretty beautiful. Um, and so that first prenatal appointment, you definitely wanna have your partner there with you so that they can be a part of that as well. Helps bond you guys together and it's just a really great experience. Uh, other than that, your bonus are gonna be your three questions to ask your OB or your midwife. So question number one you wanna ask, 
do they still deliver babies? Because if your OB was your mom's OB and they delivered you, they might not deliver babies anymore and just do like gynecolo gynecological stuff. Why was that hard to say? <laughs> um, so ask them if they still deliver babies and if they don't, who do they recommend to deliver your baby? The second question you wanna ask is, do they go on call for their own patients? So the way some practices work is that they'll see you throughout your whole pregnancy and then when you go in um, into labor, the labor and delivery department will call them and let them know and they will actually be the one that comes and delivers your baby. And the other way that it works is the doctors may rotate being on call. So if you go in and you're delivering it at 3 a.m., whoever that doctor is on call will be the doctor that delivers you. So if that's how their practice works, try to see all the doctors in the practice. That way, the first time you're meeting that doctor, you're not like, hey doc, here's my vagina, nice to meet you, right? <laughs> um, it's just nice to meet them before you're in that moment. And the second question, that was the second question, just kidding. The third question you wanna ask is what education does your doctor or their office offer to help keep you informed throughout pregnancy? Is there any literature that they can give you or websites or local classes that they can suggest to help keep you informed throughout your pregnancy? Because it's not all about the labor and delivery. There's also a lot that goes into growing your baby and there's do's and don'ts during pregnancy. That video is coming next um, as well as a whole lot of other things that you want to look for. That's it for today's video though. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope this is helpful for you. And if it is, please like, subscribe, or share with a friend. And if you can't wait for the next video that's coming, then head over to Instagram and follow me at naplesbirthservices.com where I, nope, just kidding, that's my website. Head over there if you want labor, birth support, or childbirth classes, but on Instagram, it's Naples Birth Services. Thank you guys so much for watching and remember, you got this. Thank you.